All right, and welcome back to another interesting installment of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yup. And today we are going to take a look at the parking garage, the restaurant, and the Grand Fountain. Yes, we are. But first, um, in the in the forum or in the uh, comments, Nathan had said uh, about the bike painter that I may have to update my mod. And um, well. Yes and no, because there's uh, links to the stable, which do not have the painter, links to the down or the um, download for unstable, oh, which does have the painter. However, there's a problem. And that is that while the bikes do work, I did it in the test world um, after loading it into my real world, which they would load, however, uh, you couldn't color them. The form would come up and the slider would work, but it wouldn't count down the number. And you just get this real kind of weird looking, um, kind of cool grayish cloudy look. And it would generate an image of, or generate an error of invalid color and error generated image failure Failed to generate colorized, and that was kind of, kind of it. But when it does work, uh, pull up, there it is. Look at the colors. Now I want them. Now I want the colors of the bikes. I narrowed it down to an issue with uh, Dream Builder. So without Dream Builder active, the mod works perfect with dream builder uh active and i went through dream builder and and like deactivated any mod that had color eyes or uh the color uh colored wood colored the color machine anything that had colors i even um deactivated dye and unified dyes anything that had what i could figure would do with uh colorization and it wouldn't load so I went to the forums and uh, posted um, the code, the, the error. See if anybody else had it. And oddly enough, above it, I cannot pronounce this person's name. Gibinumo. He's got some real cool, or, or, or he or she, um, they got some real cool uh, texture packs and a simple mod, which we're going to be taking a look at in upcoming episodes because I'm kind of interested in some of those textures. I think they would look really cool in my world. Look at that screen door. Very nice. So, um, on with the show. <laughs> look at that. We have a parking garage. So there's some, there's some real cool things go to daytime here it's kind of dark inside this said here parking garage but that sentence made a whole lot of grammatical uh sense um open the road up a little bit to allow to come in and the whole goal was to make this as um unobtrusive and it had to blend in so it's only a it's a two-story car park and there's going to be some trees in front hiding everything but I have the option of, let's see, do I have the post? There it is. I have the option of closing this off, which I think would look kind of cool, like the back one. So we have a Porsche, Porsche parked here. And so they're, they're, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cars can park on the bottom. Hi, Mr. Bunny. This is what I'm talking about. This wall with the holes in there. I could I could continue that pattern up front and all, and all the way around, which I think would look kind of cool. So the roadway comes back here and connects. And then we have this little offshoot area here. And this is the ramp for the cars to get up. And I had to make it semi-realistic for a car to actually come up here to the upper deck. And I haven't put the lines in yet 
because I haven't figured out how I want to arrange said parking up here. So I could do this if I, I can't have this row open. I could have, a, I could have it start here and then have it come around, but that would be wasting some spaces. So nevertheless, the parking garage is in. This area is coming along very nicely. And I put my Porsche up here. Yes. And then there's some stairs to get down. I could not put the stairs inside. There was there. I could have probably pulled it off using um, just stairs. And I might do that. But because there's already an outside stair rail. And now there's an inside stair, you know, this stair rail. So it doesn't look bad. But it works. So that is that. And then over in the back here, I wanted to make these areas separate. So you have the back of all the businesses. And then you have the circular restaurant and you have this kind of oasis. You know, the, I planted some more palm trees. You got the jungle trees. And I plan on doing some more stuff in here. Hi, Mr. Penguin. You're, you are grossly out of your element, dude. You enjoy the sand. So I added, um, so I, that looks kind of cool. It, it, it kind of all blends in, but it still looks really cool. And if I wanted to, I could use like my blast resistant concrete to really set it off and really have some contrast. But for right now, that I'm going to leave it at that. So I've got this little um, grassway here and got these poplar trees all along the backside to provide a little bit of privacy and to give it just to give it a cool look and luckily the they the trees they didn't all you know spawn in the same so very nice and it continues all the way up here to the road and I still haven't got the traffic lights in but it turns it looks really cool from back here. So you even, you know, you're coming back here, they're making their deliveries and they're going to the parking garage. So that turned out. And it, it, it's it got to have an element of realism because that's how I build. And Michael had put in the, for, put in the, um, the comments that he wishes he had um, my imagination. My builds didn't really start taking off until the uh, cliffside house and that's where i just started watching every other youtube creator on whether it be minecraft mind test whatever and building just different things like i built the haunted house just to learn how to build different um different styles of building and it wasn't until i said you know, because everything looked like a, a standard house, a cobblestone house or, you know, a typical mind test Minecraft starter house. And it wasn't until I said, well, wait a minute. I'm just going to build, try to build what I want, what I would want to live in and try to replicate that atmosphere into here. Like here is the finished, um, little uh little like coffee house bistro so if i went into if i went into a fancy kind of yuppie-ish you know restaurant this is what i would expect to see so how could i duplicate that how could i make it classy but yet nice and dimly lit and, and go from there and fit everything in to sort of give it a realistic you know, appearance. So we already, we already know about, so it, it just takes, it just takes time. And you, what you, what you really have to do is just try a lot of different things. I built a lot of, a lot of test areas and just literally just get crazy with it. As Prince would say, let's go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, the chairs, I might change the color on, but Everything kind of fits the color scheme that I wanted. And I used like little awnings over the doors and stuff. And I might, 
change the color of that. But we have, uh, and I made a mistake here, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more block, and I could have made that look really cool. But I saved it. And we, we have one measly bathroom for all the guests. Because, you know, they drink a lot of coffee. So we have this counter area. We have uh, craft beers. I don't have to worry about demonetization, so I can actually use the B word. <laughs> we have counters. Uh, we have a little kitchen island. I carried the theme of the um, the real cool awning around there to make it. It just it blends in a little bit too well. I might change the colors of that. But we have the we have the kitchen and a little grill area going on because it, it, it's a little sandwich shop, you know, custom coffee shop. There's a coffee maker. So we have, you know, the grill, uh, just everything you'd see in a kitchen. Yes, we do. I wonder if that does anything. It does nothing. I think if you hit it with an empty beer mug, it might do something. Um, nope. I don't think it will do anything. Hmm. Uh, what's the other one? We have that one. <laughs> we have. Hmm. We have another one. Let's see if any of these. Um, no, they don't. You can't. You can't like drink them. I thought there was one that you could. No wonder why I can't put anything there. That's that's beautiful. But that's how that works. I know the juice machine and the wine, um, the wine, uh, the drink mod. I believe, yeah, you could you could actually drink the glasses of, of wine or fermented um, fruits. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put a wine rack in. Wow, I'm losing it. So, that takes care of that. So, there's another building done. Come out the back here. Got the point of sale register and ordering. Come out the back here. Got these beautiful trees. Little kind of area over here. Is that door closed? Yes, I got cats. You can see I'm going to do something with the concert area because I still want the views out here to, to give a nice, um, nice view. So that's done. Um, I think, let's see, what else has to be done on here? Just some sidewalk stuff if I want. See, I, I have to put some more contrast in here. And I'm going to work on that. Uh, I didn't like the white, but I'm going, I'm going to do some, some more to make it contrast a little bit better and go from there. I have to put some more chimneys in the bike shop. That that's fine. And once I can colorize the bikes, that'll even be better. Uh, the department store, the electronics is done. The pet store, there's that cow. We still got the cow. Anybody want to look at the fish are, come on, they're jumping out. So, uh oh, something died. Something died back there. And holy cow, there's two different pandas. So I did find the correct pandas that will eat the papyrus and enjoy it. Come up here. Got some papyrus. Panda at full health. Give him some love there. There we go. We still got some fish. So that's cool. And a moo cow. So if you wanna you want a pet cow, come on down to Richard's pets. We we have moo cows. And dragons. My dragon is around here somewhere. 
So this side, and I, I didn't do, I didn't finish the desks, but this is real simple. I just have to put in like three or four desks, make some office, do some touch-ups on the, the garage over here, which looks really, really cool. And it, it pulled off. I would love to make, add a little more contrast, but this whole thing is supposed to blend in and like I said, it's not supposed to bring attention to itself. So it, it, it's hidden. So now we're going to take a look at the final, um, the final thing here. Come down here. And I'm still playing around with this park area, tweaking it. As it is, I like it. I don't want to change anything. I'm going to leave the pergola here. And I have the, this little tree here. I got the one fountain. But... We come down, as you can see here. Ooh. This would be... I love parks. So this would be... Just a, a beautiful grand park. And it sort of mimics um, the one park by my house. The Lilatia Park. So we have this outer band that goes around. We saw that and it's all lit up to you know jog around the track and stuff like that and there's my finished fountain yes and all the fishies have uh, enough water to swim in it's all lit up we got some vines coming off the willow trees and i could have taken this out i might like do one more just to give it some more shape i'll do a, an overhead but it <laughs> it's this fountain is a little bit too much for the area. I mean, it is ginormous. So we come down here. I fixed my trees. There's a, a panda roaming around. So it's kind of all secluded and, and enclosed. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here, but the park will extend. And whether I might actually try like a soccer field or something, or overseas a football field, um, just to add that much more in. And I'm going to put some more tree line along there by the spaceship house. Very cool. So that is what I've been up to. And it's just, at night, this area is really, really cool. And if I went to a park, this is what I would expect to see. Now, in Chicago, we have Buckingham, Buckingham Fountain, which is this huge fountain in the middle over by Central, um, by Millennial Park. It, it, it's down there. So you can see how, how really cool this area is at night. And... That's one of my, um, I'm going to put some more benches alongside here so people can enjoy the beautiful fountain. So when I go to a park, this is what I want to see. And how how can I recreate that without going overboard? And I'm, I'm literally going to leave this area just completely just grass. I'm not putting any bushes, no flowers, nothing. I want it all lawn. Look how cool that looks. Well, it, it looks cool to me. So, <laughs> do a quick... Um, that's massive. I think I, I overdid it a little bit on the park. But, you know, you only live once. So, in, in mind test world, I guess. <laughs> so, that will... That works. I might go one higher with the, with the water... See, everything, everything, you know, tweak everything. I already went one higher, but I think it needs to go one more. But it, it lights up just real crazy cool. Yeah. So, there's the, there's the park. So, it's almost, I would say this is almost, um, and that accidentally lined up. That's, that's neat. So, I would say this area is about 70% complete in that, um, I just got like the offices above here. Uh, everything else, everything else is fine without tweaking. And then we have a more 
a bigger style restaurant here. Um, the ice cream power parlor, which would be here. And then I need to fine tune the uh, dealership. And I want to put some more trees in the sidewalk because I really like how, how that works. And the dealership just needs, I need the waiting area. Um, there's an office going here. I need a desk here. I don't want to take out any cars, so I might just put a small desk here. The service department. I just need to um, make this more, look more like a actual service department. And then continue the fence line over here to separate the dealership from, to separate the dealership from the other businesses. This is the ice cream parlor. Unfortunately, their back door is going to share this area. Oh well, could be worse things. The restaurant's back door. Cool. So there you have it. Um, yeah, that's going to that's going to do it for this little update. It's too close to put a fountain there, or a light there. Yeah, it, 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 this is coming along exactly the way I'm, I'm picturing it. And then I'll move on to something else. Oh, yeah, well, the townhouses and the, uh, the office park. So, um, that's going to do it. If there's any... Anybody has any clue of what might be making that bike mod not work or what in Dream Builder could possibly be affecting that, please leave it in the description because I really want the bikes to be painted. So there we have it. We, it's been a long time since I've flown through trees. And I have to move those those train tracks. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, look how cool. I, I A lot of people have done a lot of better jobs, but I think I pulled off the, the look that I was going for. The, the atmosphere that I was going for. It needs some tweaks, and it needs some... It, it, it just needs little touches here and there, and... Yeah. And that'll that'll uh finish it. But there we go. So I want to thank you for joining me. And um just it is in terms of finding your imagination, just try everything. Because you can always just you can always just remove whatever doesn't look good or set up a test world and just play around with different ideas in the test world to get to the, to get to the vision that you have on your builds and keep watching my videos because I might have some, any, any time that any of my stuff can be used as inspiration. Like I said, you don't have to like the colors I use. You don't have to like, the building materials I use, but you, you know, you could sit there and go, oh, I don't like that, but you know what would look good is this with the metal style fence or this with a different form of concrete and then run from it, you know, go from there, run with it. So thank you very much for watching. And um, yeah, until the next video. Goodbye.